I think it's either, you know, we support it or we don't support it, Commissioner. And, uh, you know, we, we're not balkanizing things. Excuse me, but you take you take a liking to interrupting the women. So let me finish and let the director finish. It's I'm not going to I'm not going to we're not going to do noises, but I'm just calling out so people can go back and watch previous meetings of Commissioner Sport. So I've got the microphone, sir. Excuse me. We're asking for RFPs. Y'all well know millions and millions go out without RFPs because of this balkanization in the precincts. So let's 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 be honest with the conversations that we have. Now we're having conversations about the money that goes to the poor. So why did we give five million dollars, six million dollars to the district attorney that she spent without the court's initial approval at the objection of the budget director that put us into a deficit? Why didn't we give that to the poor? What about the funds to the courtrooms that put us on the deficit? Why didn't we give that to the poorer of the poor? So if you don't like this program, Commissioner, if you don't like the female director, then just vote no for it. Why do they only pick 10? Because the program's $20 million as opposed to $25 million, if you weren't scared of the DA, as opposed to $40 million, if you guys didn't want to bang on your chest about the courts when we're at a deficit. It could be even more if two colleagues had shown up for the bond for the votes last year on the proper tax rate. But it's not 40 million, it's 20 million, because that's all we can afford. And so what we can do is we pick the 10 poorest neighborhoods. Can the undocumented community apply? If the county attorney says they can, they will. If the county attorney says they can't, they won't. What I was told is they can. But if we're just looking to delay the vote on this, just vote no, Commissioner. We all know that you've got a bone to pick with certain folks. 